strike among independent truckers at the Port of Oakland has now hit a fifth day, and the shutdown is having a huge impact on the companies and businesses who rely on the port to get their items in and out of the Bay Area. KTV's Tom Vakar is joining us now live with more on the frustration being felt at one company in Benicia whose products are just sitting at the port. Tom? And they, they, there they sit. Now, I want you to consider this. In this last week, 50,000 containers have been stranded, 50,000 of them. How much is that really? If you put them end to end, they would stretch for 350 miles. Blendjet was founded by four young entrepreneurs five years ago. They came up with compact, portable, rechargeable blenders that make clump-free shakes or smoothies from mangoes to mushrooms to margaritas. They sell five million of them a year. Operations VP Brian Zuck, a founding member, handles Blendjet's critical import operations as well as customer fulfillment. There's a huge demand for our product. We're, we're never in a situation where we ever seem to have enough. Blendjet makes the blenders in China and sea container ships them into the U.S. hundreds of containers each year. We have containers coming in every week. We have dozens and dozens on the, t on the water at any, any given time. After two years of pandemic supply disruptions, the company learned to over-order for normal business. But as people get out and about, major retailers are now ordering massive quantities. So we never be in a position where we're out of inventory or waiting on containers to arrive. But the trucker rebellion at the port has kept some 50,000 containers either stranded on the dock or at sea on ships. In Blendjet's case, there are currently 22 containers stranded at the port containing 602,000 blenders. It was just another punch in the gut. It seemed like we were just starting to come over this hill and getting to a point where things were starting to somewhat normalize. At the moment, Blendjet faces a triple whammy. The delay of getting already ordered online products to customers, the delay in introducing new products online, and the delay of introducing products at a growing number of retailers. So when will it get back to normal and reliable? Not anytime soon. I think at least another year, potentially six months to a year. Now that other looming issue, the longshore workers and the terminal operators are negotiating a new contract. If that cannot be settled, the port will have a far bigger problem on its hands making this look like a cakewalk. Reporting live, Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, a lot of businesses, uh, businesses caught in the middle of this dispute. Tom, thank you. Yep.